What is up, long box listeners? Watchers, I guess. Um, I wanted to take a little bit of time and talk about what is going on with Dr. Freaking Who. Uh, last two episodes, I'm gonna dive right in. If you have not seen uh, the season finale to season 12, go watch that, come back and watch this. Season 12 uh, was big in that it kind of changed a lot of things, especially in the last two episodes. It changed a lot of uh, Doctor Who mythology. Um, so I know that there's going to be some people who are like, how dare they, you know, blah, blah, blah. But who cares? I think it opens up a lot of things, and I actually think it makes some things make a little bit more sense. Um, but we'll dive in. Uh, the last two episodes, um, the main villain was the Cybermen. But I think that they served kind of a smaller purpose to get us to the bigger thing. But uh, in at the end of the middle to end of the third episode back, uh, we, we find out that there is one Cyberman who is left from, who came back from the future to the past to find something called Siberium that would go into him and tell him how to essentially uh, resurrect his kind. It has all of the information for the Cyberman. So he goes back, takes it from the Doctor three episodes ago, and then, boom, he's off into the future. So the last two episodes deal with that consequence uh, as far as the villain goes. They deal with the Cybermen um, trying to resurrect themselves and keep destroying all humans. Um, and, and again, that serves the purpose for the main plot because I, I don't think that that was the main plot, honestly. I think that that was a subplot in order to have a villain or else, you know, some of the other stuff takes, it's just story. Um, so I think the, the Cybermen serve that purpose. In the end, they, you know, like most villains, they took over the world and killed almost every human and then the doctor found a way to defeat them uh, with a little bit of help from the master um, speaking about the master uh, Sasha Dewan I think is his name um, he has absolutely been killing it this season um, I think his iteration of the do of the master is probably one of the best um, I really liked the original from not the original original the original in the in modern times I don't know his name though um, he's he came in uh, I believe the David Tennant's era um, so I, I really like him but Sasha does is killing it he's probably uh, in my opinion he's probably pay, playing a better Time Lord than Jodie Whittaker um, I think there's a spunk to him that I think is missing from the main doctor um, but I think he killed it uh, I think he did a really great job his he came back uh, and told the Jodie Whittaker's doctor that they'd been lied to and that he would tell her what's going on and she'd figure it out and, you know, everything they knew about Time Lords is about to change. And so I think that's the crux of what's actually going on in the season finale, but it won't serve two hours and that's why they had to bring the Cyberman in. But, again, if you haven't watched it, go watch it because this is, this is crazy. Um, but... The doctor gets trapped by the master in some kind of vortex thing, in some kind of like cage, and he essentially goes into her brain and helps her see what her real history is. And so we find out that her real mother, uh, her mother, her adopted mother, um, was one of the highest ranking time lords at the time they weren't time lords they were on Gallifrey she had uh, she was a space traveler so she was the first one to go into space and di visit different planets and stuff and she found uh, a, a, a child who had passed through a portal onto a planet that she was visiting she took it home to Gallifrey adopted it as her child everything was going well the child falls off of a cliff and essentially dies she goes up to check on it, trying to revive her. She's, a, you know, she's calling for help. And you see the first regeneration, I'm assuming, that's ever happened on Gallifrey. Um, through that, you figure out that Tech Tween, who is the, the mom's name, uh, is a scientist as well. So she's gene splicing. She's trying to figure out the DNA. She's trying to figure out what's going on. And you see from that point that that Gallifrey and that orphaned kid, they call it the timeless child, that child 
as the story goes, as they're telling what's going on, uh, re regenerates, I think, like five times. Um, so, sh so, so this is the first Gallifreyan doctor, essentially, to, to regenerate. The, mo the adopted mother finds a way to do it, and she injects herself with something, and she instantly regenerates. And so it, it turns out that this adopted timeless child is the doctor. So the, the, how they phrase the story and how they tell it is that the doctor has an unlimited amount of regenerations, even though we and he has, or she, uh, has been told that they're limited to 12, which changed after Matt Smith. But every 12, they mind swipe her or him so that they, they don't remember those past 12 or 24 or whatever regenerations so he's the only right now jody whitaker's doctor is the only real time lord everybody else has been given the injection that tech Twin gave to herself and has been limited to 12 time to 12 regenerations except for the doctor who presumably at this point now can just regenerate unlimited amount of times which i think cures the like you don't have to count down the regenerations anymore now the story can go on forever which it sounds like bbc wants it to go on for a long time because they'd come out and said that even though it had the ratings have dropped low it's too popular still for them to ever consider canceling it is what they've come out and said at this point so it cures that so now nobody has to worry about oh man we're only you know we're on the 11th regeneration or whatever this essentially changes that for the doctor for all the other time lords it doesn't matter you still it sounds like you still have your 12 regenerations and that's it um, but this changes really it changes everything you knew about the doctor in that sense because she Jodie Whittaker is the only of her species that we know of uh, her true species because the time lords from Gallifrey have essentially been spliced into that and so she's the only one of whatever her species was I don't know if they'll delve into that later um, I that I don't know but at this point the doctor comes from a different planet than we knew originally she's the only one she's the only real regenerator because that's where it started so now everybody else has her genes and she can uh, regenerate unlimited amount of times so uh, the master knows this he's the one who found it out and that's why he destroyed Gallifrey I, I think he was mad that what makes him so incredible and so smart is a part of the doctor because it's her some of her genes were used and i think that really bothered him to destroy everything else because he was lied to the whole time so that's a quick and dirty of what we learned um there is going to be a holiday uh show i don't know if that means that they're bringing the christmas episode back because they didn't do it last time uh last year they did a new year's episode so i don't know um hopefully captain jack comes back um he came back to uh, four or five episodes ago to warn uh, the doctor of the lone Cyberman which ended up not working anyways but it was amazing to see him come back I want to see him uh, develop more into the face of Bo as we go that would be awesome um, but again I just wanted to do a, we're at nine minutes so it's not super quick but I wanted to do a quick rundown of what the last two episodes uh, were about it's not a scene by scene it's not a, the biggest review I wanted to go over the biggest reveals and those are the biggest reveals. The Time Lord, uh, the Doctor as we know it, has had generations pre-Hartnell. -Hart um, so he wasn't the first Doctor. Um, you know, so, so that's where the new uh, Doctor comes from, Ruth. Um, the, the new lady African-American Doctor. Um, it seems as though she would come pre-Hartnell. So that, that's why Jody doesn't remember her because uh, she's from her past at a time after her mind was wiped. Um, so a lot of answers, a lot of questions, some answers, but a lot of questions. That's what, that's what has made this series so exciting for me. I, it follows its own rules and timelines and, you know, all of that stuff is always changing. So I'm not worried about it really following canon because they're the Doctor Who canon changes almost every season. Um, so 
I, I enjoyed it. I liked it. Hopefully you guys will go watch it again. I try not to do like scene by scenes. I want to give a quick rundown of what happened, the most important things. And I think that was the most important thing. So uh, hopefully you'll keep watching. Check us out on uh, TOTLB.com. Listen to the newest episodes. There's an episode right now about the gentleman. A new episode is probably going to drop a little bit later today as well. Uh, Patreon video is coming out today as well. That is patreon.com slash TOTLB. Uh, for as little as a dollar, you can check out all those videos and we are dedicated to making more and more of those videos and so everybody's gonna get their uh, I'm gonna start working on beginning of the year stuff for patreon supporters beginning of the year gifts so uh, t-shirts draw sketches all of that kind of stuff but uh, hopefully you're looking out like I said check us out give us a review on iTunes or wherever you're getting uh, your uh, wherever you're getting your podcasts um, give us a review and we'll talk to you guys later bye